Okay. Uh, Southeastern Quilt and Textile Museum, uh, Fun in the Sun Summer Camp Project 4, The Sea Turtle. What stitch do I pick? And I'm sneaking this one in. It's uh, kind of in your um, direction sheet and kind of not. Um, because I often will choose a blanket stitch first, but we do have an option to use a whip stitch, which we've not used throughout the first three projects. And after having just done a comparison, meaning I've done both on the turtle, so you can see them both, hmm, I'm kind of thinking we may want to opt for the um, whip stitch. So here's what I'm gonna suggest. You probably need to view um, the two, three, or four videos related to uh, step seven, and that would be seven A through E. View them first before you stitch, and then audition them, meaning do what I did. Put, do one hexagon in one style, do another hexagon in another style, walk away from it, and decide which you like better. Um, because actually, uh, not usual for me, I'm kind of leaning towards liking the whip stitch, at least on the back of the turtle for this project. Again, there's so much stitching going on that I like it. So I want you to kind of uh, audition it, check it out, maybe stitch one of each, make up your decision, walk away, be sure you like your decision, and then come back to it. So that's what I'm suggesting. So this is the original sample that's all blanket stitched with the exception of the nostrils and the eyes. And then this is a sample that we're working on throughout the videos. These two are blanket stitched and this is a whip stitch. Now I did start out too tiny right here. I do like these quarter inch stitches around it so I'd have to fix that. But I want you to see that I'm, I'm liking, I don't know that I need to love the perimeter that a blanket stitch gives <clears throat> because I think, I really think I'm liking the whip stitch. So I just want you to, you know, take a few minutes, look at it, view the videos and uh, give yourself a chance to see them both in action, how to do a whip stitch, how to do a blanket stitch, and then make your choice. Right now, I think my choice is gonna to be to undo the blanket stitched portions and um, go to a whip stitch. Now I may change my mind and blanket stitch the flippers and the head and the tail, but I think for all these hexagonal or portional portions of hex hexagon stitches or pieces, it might be a blanket stitch for me.